Just recently, Microsoft added a new color to their AI palette, and they call it Cosmos 2. It is a multimodal AI that would directly compete with Google's Gemini. I know that is a fancy term I've used there, but hold on, I am going to break everything down for you. To begin with, let's get multimodal AIs out of the way first. These are the kinds of models that can be used with other modalities other than text. For instance, such AIs can work with images, audio, and videos. Now that is a game changer because so far, we are only used to models like ChatGPT that can reasonably do the text jobs. Now, I'm not going to say that the text-based models we have are perfect because they do produce errors off and on, making Cosmos 2 a giant leap in terms of the AI spectrum we currently live in. This tool can immensely help people with vision problems, as you can ask it to tell things present in an image. For instance, in one example, it was asked how cows are present in an image, and it answered correctly in not only the form of text, but also in another bounding box it highlights the cows. But you must be wondering if Google is already doing something similar. How is this any different? But before that, let's see what Microsoft is actually doing. Cosmos 2 is based upon Cosmos 1, which could provide visual responses, specifically bounding boxes, that greatly enhanced vision language tasks, especially in understanding referring expressions. This means Cosmos 1 was designed for image processing. It could identify and interact with visual objects, and in fact, it became a beneficial product. Unlike other competitors functioning only on text-based responses, the visual responses offered by Cosmos 1 were more precise and clear, effectively resolving co-reference ambiguity in communication. The model's capacity allowed it to connect noun phrases and referencing terms in freeform text responses to specific areas in pictures. As a result, the reactions became more accurate. Now what has happened is that these geeks integrated the multimodal corpora in Cosmos 1 to leverage its potential fully. It is going to get a little bit geeky, but it is really important to discuss what is happening at the core. Don't worry, I will explain what all of that means. What happened next was that the image text pairs were derived from subsets of Lion 2B and Koyo 700M, and a pipeline was established to extract and align text spans, such as now phrases and referencing expressions with spatial positions or bounding boxes of relevant objects or regions in the images. To facilitate the connection between elements in the images and their corresponding captions, the geographical coordinates of the bounding boxes were converted into location tokens, which were then added to the relevant text spans. This way, the data format acted as a hyperlink enabling a seamless link between image elements and their corresponding descriptions. This is how the Cosmos 2 was developed. Now, what all of that implies is that Cosmos 2 can comprehend the intricate relationship between text and images, which it skillfully employs to perform various perception language tasks. Notably, it can answer questions about images, generate referring expressions describing objects within an image, and tackle other perception-based language tasks. The generation of referring expressions is a significant feature of the model allowing it to create descriptive phrases that accurately depict objects in an image. This proves particularly advantageous for tasks such as image captioning and visual question answering, as it enhances the model's capability to provide contextually relevant and informative responses. The tale doesn't end there. The model inherently exhibits a profound understanding of human language and can effortlessly generate text. This exceptional linguistic prowess enables it to communicate seamlessly with humans, emulating natural language interactions effectively. As a result, it serves as an excellent foundation for creating advanced chatbots and virtual assistants, fostering more meaningful and interactive experiences. So until now, we have checked multiple boxes. We have discussed how it was made and what it can do. But now, let's see how it basically works. In this example, we have an image of a dog in a field of flowers. The AI breaks down the image into three main parts i.e. the dog, the field, and the flowers. It then merges this information together, omitting the specific details like flowers from the final input. The AI successfully identifies the scene as a dog in a field of flowers. This approach proves highly effective in providing us with the needed information. When comparing Cosmos 2 to other benchmarks, I found that it outperforms several models like Visual But Glip Fiber and Grill in terms of zero-shot capability. Zero-shot capability means that Cosmos 2 can perform a task without any specific training or examples for that particular task. Instead, it relies on its pre-trained knowledge to make predictions for unseen tasks. This sets Cosmos 2 apart and makes it a standout performer. Now, I'm not kidding when I say 
it is a standout performer because when you look at the benchmarks, things become pretty evident. Although models like Visual but Glip Fiber and Grill may display higher scores at first glance, they lack the impressive zero-shot capability that sets Cosmos 2 apart. In contrast, Cosmos 2 excels in zero-shot scenarios, outperforming four other models in this aspect. Both Cosmos 2 and Grill stand out as the only visual model successfully achieving this level of performance in referring expression comprehension with zero-shot accuracy. This extraordinary ability places Cosmos 2 on an entirely different level. It's also worth noting that Cosmos 2 exhibits impressive text capabilities in addition to its prowess in image recognition. In terms of recognizing text and predicting the next word, Cosmos 2 rivals ChatGPT 3.5, known for its natural languaging processing abilities. Now, if you are willing for a live demo of Cosmos 2, you must hold your patience, as a lot of creators have released videos on this tool and the page hosting the demo might experience frequent downtime due to its potential surge in traffic. In such cases, it's recommended to be patient and try the demo early or wait for the page to stabilize, as the requests can take a considerable amount of time to be processed. When I had my live demo, I was blown away. I must admit, the software's performance in the live demo far exceeded expectations. Contrary to initial doubts, the live demo proved to be exceptionally impressive. I used an image with a lot of different elements, and to my surprise, it was able to spot everything on the brief mode. When I chose detailed mode, the page crashed while loading for me, but I checked a lot of videos from different creators and the results were groundbreaking. Another thing that caught my eye was its ability to differentiate between textures. For example, I used this image and it clearly indicated pom-poms with googly eyes. I know it might be very easy for you to grasp what is in this image, but I initially thought of it as some kind of a digital paintbrush pattern around the toyish eyes. Now, when I look at how this tool works, what I can see is that it can revolutionize everything when it is deployed at mass level. For example, in the healthcare sector, such intricate medical imaging AI can assist doctors in diagnosing diseases and conditions, leading to early detection and improved treatment planning. This technology has the potential to save lives. For manufacturing industries, image recognition AI is used for quality control on assembly lines, identifying defects, and improving production efficiency. Not only that, in agriculture, Cosmos 2 can be deployed to analyze satellite and drone images to monitor crop health, optimize irrigation, and detect pest infestations, resulting in increased crop yield. Cosmos 2 can also be deployed to identify tailgating and bad driving practicing and in security and surveillance. It can act as a full-blown recognition system that can identify and track suspicious activities, unauthorized access, and potential threats in real time. Visual search and augmented reality applications can be enabled with Cosmos 2 that can assist in inventory management and theft prevention. For environmental conservation, analysis upon satellite imagery to monitor ecosystem changes, track deforestation, and assess climate changes impact. Social media platforms can use its image recognition capabilities to filter and moderate user-generated content, flagging in appropriate or harmful images to create a safer online environment. Now is the time to address what you are most interested into, the debate that, is this better than Google's Gemini? This is not something easy to address. For instance, Google's Gemini uses GPT-4 for its text-based applications, but Cosmos 2 deploys GPT-3.5. Gemini is based upon 770 million parameters, while I couldn't find the parametric size of Cosmos 2. On the other hand, the zero-shot capabilities of Cosmos 2 are way better than Gemini's. As of now, both models show huge promise, but which one truly shines as a winner is yet to be determined. Subscribe to the channel for more blues from the world of AI. I have made another video on the Google's Gemini to discuss its capabilities in detail. By watching both videos, you can decide for yourself which AI is better and in what domain. It must be appearing on your screen now, so click and I will see you there in a minute.